an initial public offering IPO and a follow-on public offering FPO are both methods for companies to raise capital from the public the main difference lies in their purpose and when they occur dot a and IPO is the first time a private company offers its shares to the public it allows the company to become publicly traded and attracts individual and institutional investors looking to buy shares in the company IPOs typically occur when a company wants to raise substantial capital for growth expansion or to pay off debts on the other hand an FPO is when a company that is already publicly listed decides to issue additional shares to the public it is a way for the company to raise further funds without going through the process of an IPO FPOs are often undertaken when a company needs more capital for various reasons such as expansion plans, acquisitions, or to strengthen its financial position. Moreover, IPOs are usually priced through an initial offering whereas FPOs can be priced through a follow-on placement method. Additionally, IPOs tend to generate more buzz and media attention as it marks the company's transition from private to public ownership. In summary, the key distinction between an IPO and an FPO is that an IPO is the initial offering of shares to the public by a private company, while an FPO is the subsequent offering of additional shares by a company that is already publicly listed. Both methods serve the purpose of raising capital, but at different stages of a company's life cycle.